Hello everybody. My phone just did something. Whoa. Hold on. I'm creating a mess here. I'll get that later. Um don't uh oh I'm all cattywampus. Okay. I'm ready. <laughs> Doing an 8x8 eight eight tile today. Another bloom. I just remade. I, as I said in the last video, it's been quite some time since I painted. I took off for um, the holidays. And then we got into a home fix it up uh, project. We got the shower enclosures in both of our bathrooms replaced. So it's been a while. And I could tell you. When you don't paint for a while, you definitely lose your touch because I'm having a hard time getting my groove back here. So what I have is um, scrapings from my paint. Um, that's what the gray is. It's, uh, you know, what I scraped off the edges of various paintings and it makes a great pillow let me tell you it is nice and thick and I didn't like thick when I first started but I love thick now because it really works well it holds up your paints it holds up your cell activator Let's the paint glide across it. So the thicker the pillow, the better. But usually I use PPG Multi Pro now. I love that too. But we're going with this gray today. So as I hadn't painted for a while, my paints thickened up. So now when I pull out some paints here, I'm finding that I have to thin them a little bit. And it also doesn't help that it's winter. That makes them thicken up even more with the colder temperatures down here in my basement. So everything is having to get checked before I use it. So what did I use there? I used uh, dioxazin purple paint. I used sunburst pigment, pigment by Primary Elements. I use Quinacridone Magenta Paint by Golden. This is Liquitex Deep Violet Paint. This painting is just about all paints this time. Usually I have too many piggies in my paintings. Not this one. So you'll get to see the difference. This is Extreme Aquamarine Paint. This is by DecoArt. I love this color. I really use it a lot. It is my favorite, like, bluish turquoise. And finally, I'm going to throw in a little bit of Prussian Blue. So, because I hadn't painted in so long, I also had to mix up some new cell activator. Because my last video didn't go so well as far as cells go. And it was probably stretching it too, too long. Cell activator doesn't last that long. That's why I don't make a lot. So, I just made some more. I want a good sum in there. Now, am I going to try this Yeeho again? I am. So, I'm going to be very careful. I'm going to come down. And blow that cell activator out. And then kind of slide across it. So 
stop right there. Now, I love this color combination. And because I was thinning my paints right before we started, we got some air bubbles. Oh, look at, look at those cells. We got every color of the rainbow there. Oh, and that sunburst is just like a bright, vibrant gold, even though it's yellow. I'm still getting the hang of that Eho blower. It uh, It's very powerful, even on the low setting. So you really got to be careful because you're going to blow through if you get too close. It, um, it definitely gives you a totally different look. What I like to do is I like to put my cell activator down and blow across with my normal small blower or my bigger blower. But this Yeho, it, it doesn't get you that going across as easily. So it definitely takes some practice to, to get the hang of it and figure out how you want to use it. So I'm debating. I do not think I want to modify this. It's uh, it's very it's a beautiful color combination. This out here is just gorgeous and like very soft and um, lacing right there. Um, no, I don't think I'm going to modify. I'm going to pop that bubble. But look at how, well, and we're going to wait a little bit because that paint is still coming in, um, coming back into the center. So let me find my little scraper here. Uh, we're going to spin it gently. Oh, yeah. I'm glad I didn't modify. We are going to give it some help out here at the corners. So, as I said in the last video, I got... Um, a lady approached me at a craft fair and told me, oh, these, I was selling coasters. And she says, oh my gosh, these are beautiful. She says, do you need tiles? I'm like, oh, I can always use tiles. And she says, I literally have a garage full of them. Someone in her family was a, um, a tile layer, I guess. And... She literally had a one-car garage full of tiles. And so I've got octagon. Oh, look at this. I've got octagon tiles. I've got square tiles. I've got big tiles, little tiles. I've got gigantic tiles. So, yeah. Then the thing that didn't dawn on me was how am I going to put cork on the back of those big, gigantic 16-inch tiles? I haven't figured that out yet. This looks like a goober. I'm almost afraid... There we go. 
You can't even tell. Oh, this is beautiful. Love this color combination. And love all those cells in the middle. Look at how those cells are coming back into the center. Or how they came back in, I should say. They We had all that black space, and that has just all blended together very nicely. All right. We need to get rid of some of this paint. But you see how how well that uh, this paint in my little jar from these scrapings did as a pillow works fabulously. And if you don't like the gray, you can start with the gray and then put some just a little bit of white on top of it. That way you're not wasting the paint but you're still getting your white look. But I thought with these deeper colors, it might be pretty with the gray. And it is. I like it. Not too much of it shows through. This is a very earthy look, I guess you could say. Deeper, darker look. Okay, that should work. Let's spin some more because we still got a lot of paint on here. <coughs> Excuse me. I would like to get it going that way a little bit. Only problem is with these heavy tiles is they're hard to get off of here. My little spatula didn't want to do the job. I had to use two. Oh, yeah, this lacing out here is beautiful. This is gorgeous. This looks very cosmic to me. Very cosmic. A little more spin. So, um, please uh, take a look at my description below. I've got my recipes in there. I've got some other useful tips. Um, depending if I do a bloom, I have bloom tips down there. If I do a swipe, then I have tips about how to do a swipe down there. Um, okay, and, and where I get some of the products that I use. So that should be interesting for you. Please subscribe to my channel. I'd appreciate it. Look at that. If that doesn't look cosmic, like sun shining through the clouds or something i don't know that that sunburst is just an amazing color let me turn the flash on look at that that is just beautiful and it's always so pretty with that cuneg and purple and the blue i love it so anyway please subscribe to my channel give me a thumbs up any questions or comments, leave them below, and I will see you next time. All right, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.